What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Romy Master Toad War Let's Play as the Brutii. So to round off up on last time, we secured the critical city of Rhodes, capturing the Colossus, which is going to massively boost our naval trade. You can see we're making about 16,000 a turn, um, which is pretty big. So one of the few next targets I would like to hit is the Mausoleum of Harlequinassus because it gets you a reduction of building time, building construction times by 20% on buildings that take five or more turns. I'm starting to get to the point where that's the case. Some of my ter some, most of my buildings take l less than five turns, but some of them are starting to get up there, which means as my cities expand, well, really, we're in a good position to start to make use of this um, this wonder. Let's check our building tab. Polonia is everything's going okay there so let's build well governor's palace because the town has upgrade has grown Salona everything seems okay so let's probably go for stables Larissa everything's pretty good let's probably go for highways maybe I'm not so worried about trade or happiness. Squalor might become a problem in the future, but right now the uh, the buildings look the uh, population growth is pretty good. Same here, really. So it's probably go for okay. So this is what I I'll explain my strategy with what I normally do with the uh, with the Brutio. So what I normally like to do is because each building only recruits one unit per turn. I like to upgrade Sparta, Corinth, and Athens, and then this area becomes a real unit-producing hub for new um, for new armies. So let's get Corinth to start working on six um, principes. Let's get this army working on some archers. Let's get Sparta working on some cavalry. Let's start to generate more troops. We do have a new family member here, but I'm mostly my main priority with family members is to get them to uh, govern my territories. That's my chief focus. Um, so you can see there's a merchant, there's a uh, Thracian merchant, merchant who is mo monopolizing a silver post within our lands. He's earning 410 income per turn. So I'm tempted to do, do is hop up to Bylazora, pick up a merchant. And then use them to monopolize this gold deposit near Byzantium to see how much we can get from it. And to be honest, we're making significant bank. Such so as this, <laughs> the Thermont, the Tarentum, the highway to Tarentum is earning us two and a half, nearly two and a half thousand ten. One thing I did notice, Tarentum's population growth is horrendous. So I'm probably going to build, pick up sewers uh, because I've checked this out. Uh, squalor minus fifty percent. Well, that's actually that. Actually, that's public order. Um, but squalor is still pretty big, minus five percent on pop growth. So if we can start to deal with that with sewers, that'd be pretty handy. Apart from that, everyone's doing good stuff. Um, turn to keep. Let's recruit Union of Triario. So I want to start to send more men up to Sagestica to push against the Germanic hordes. I definitely want to take Aquitum and then use that as a tool to try and get peace. I don't mind incrementally pushing up in the barbarian lands, but I don't really want to expand. I want to expand over here. And potentially against the Thracians if they get a bit uppity. I might send... Actually, can you retrain troops? No. Okay. Let's send a detachment north to go fight these peasants because we're starting we're suffering a bit from devastation from enemy lands and that is those those pirates or those rebels but we've got some very good visibility now of, of our lands to the north which is very good apart from that though i don't think there's anything else to do can roads yes you can retrain a bunch of guys good and we've also got a merchant over here could try and monopolize our timber, but I think I'd probably rather send him somewhere else. That's timber. 
So I want definitely hit that gold deposit. I'm sure somewhere we had marble. There it is. Okay, so let's try. Let's try get this guy or well, one of them onto this onto this unit with this uh, marble, and then get another one up onto this Thracian gold deposit. Let's hit end turn. There go our reinforcements up to uh, Suggestica. Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely okay with attacking north to try and make a temporary peace with Germany or the Germanic peoples, if they wish to stress the point and continue the war. There is a large force to the west. Hello, emergency. Agent found. Yeah, Thracian spies are still on the move. Candidate for adoption. Placus. Vinicianus, Vinicianus, pretty good. I'll accept him because uh, we need him. <laughs> um, I know my governor here is 53, so we need to be careful about letting him, Order. about leaving him, uh, leaving his cities yes, unprotected. Yes, Sir, um, I might yes, send. Well, I do want to send you probably to some of these cities down here. I do like having my cities governed. We've still got an, an objective to take Sardis, but that's not going to happen. That's a bad, bad, bad mistake. Lots of hoplites and some Rhodian slingers. Rhodes needs many, 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 many um, cavalry units. Okay, let's attack these Greek ships. Sunk one of them. Get back into Sparta. Let's replenish our ships. Well, actually, you can probably, you can just about make it. Get ready to pick up the merchant up at Rhodes, but a merchant by Lazora. So you can try and monopolize the gold. Also, gold up there, but it's not been upgraded to mines yet. Yeah, yeah it's all to resolve that. There we go. The pirates, the rebels, have been defeated. Lots of crossing points up here. Okay, building browser. Suggestica. Suggestica build. Communal farming. Athens build. Probably a blacksmith. I'm going to, if I'm going to start recruiting large amounts of troops, we've still got a bit of time before we have to worry about squalor. Thessalonica to the north, you can get stone walls, just to harden them from any surprise attacks from Thrace from the east. Sparta, you can build a blacksmith as well if you're going to be recruiting um, if you're going to be recruiting troops. Get another unit of Triarii. General. So you're on the move. These have started, you can probably push up to Thessalonica. Some ships down here. Fleet ready. So your naval strength Fleet is ready. growing. Yes. Quinquire Marine. Quinqua Marine. You men, block the pass. Thessalonica. Keep recruiting those ships. They've also got onagers. I might actually build a handful of onagers. So I might need them to start to knock down some of the walls of these cities, or at least to destroy towers. So we've still got some recruitment going on here. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of recruitment going on here. Troops have disembarked. So let's see where these guys go. Bring these ships back and join up with this large fleet. Actually, that's a bit overkill. We do need some smaller fleets to facilitate transport needs. We don't want every fleet to be massive. We want you know, scale the fleets you need to the demands that you have. Go on, Scipio. You can take Carthage. I'm not interested in taking Carthage. The bloodshed. A ceasefire, and they'll give us 1,600 denarii. No. Until next time. We are at war. We can make peace when I've started to take uh, some of your territories in Greece. 
We've got spies, a guy in Aquism. Okay. Ooh, we must have built. Okay, it's not retrain. Let's leave one space and recruit a unit of Hastartes. We want to start to try and leave. Well, we want to march these guys north. Let's go hit uh, Aquism. But we also want some guys back here guarding the city. So you guys get in. Let's get our merchant onto yes. the gold. He's currently making 80 gold a turn. Or 80 gold. Yeah, 80 gold a turn. You guys try and make it back to Athens. Let's send these guys. They're all. Well, they're all triremes. Let's deploy. Actually, Athens. Sparta, can you retrain those ships? No. Go blockade their port. This fleet move east. As the recruitment continues, we're going to fail our mission. The Greeks have declared a ceasefire with the other factions, and Julia and Germania are no longer at war. Ooh, Cassius Brutus. Good. A good son of Rome has been born. Agent found. So we've lost the officer Questor. And our faction does not deserve any honour, and popularity is form of the masses. Decius Brutus. Okay, you may stay with your father. <laughs> Maybe. Oh well, no, he's got another 10 years ish in him. Amulus Victor. He's probably going to land and go take the, take the battle to Harlequinassus. If I take all of my guys out of the city. Yeah, they hate it. Zero percent. Let's maybe not build the archery range and instead build another temple and probably an arena to help settle them down. So Kydonia, I'm okay with Kydonia where they are hunking, hunkering down. Okay, let's build a... Really, we just want them to grow. Although it looks like they are about to pop anyway. Okay, probably go for a temple. Bring these guys back to Bilazora. Our spies are doing well. Okay, it's in turn. Let our men wander about. And yet we failed our Senate mission. Let's march on that German city, capture it, and then use that as a as a reasonable gain to bring the Germans to the to the negotiating table. Good, that, that big Greek army has pulled away. Keep on, keep on running. Deploy my merchant. Occupy the marble. They're running 48 a turn. That's not terrible. Found. Transgression. Thrace. Your behaviour is not that of civilised people. Our patience is not endless. Sooner or later you will put aside polite word and take up the chastising sword. You have been warned. Who the hell are you to warn us? Have you found my spy? Or something like that. Or are you just upset that my guy is making bank? Well. <laughs> looks like Thessalonica needs to uh, grow its armies. And march them north. So let's recruit some principes from Larissa. Let's get some Equites from Apollonia. Swell the Thessalonica garrison so they can push east. Biosaurus is probably. You guys probably can't leave. Merge these triarii. And we can retrain them. Ah, because they've got no armour. 
Yeah, you can't leave the city because they're very, they're unhappy with us. Okay, need a bit of a, a bit of a period of hunkering down and upgrades, I think. Tarentum. Okay, let's get the public baths and some walls in the construction queue. Apollonia. It's growing okay. I'm going to start to build. Actually, let's do, do a road building program. Anywhere that doesn't have upgraded rows, that's going to be the focus. Salona. It's okay. You can build walls. Thermon. Oh, my phone is going off. Let's build a paved roads. Corinth. Again, road building. Kydonia. Road building. Bylazora. Maybe a legion barracks in Bylazora because it's up on the front line. So I want these guys to wander off a little bit more. I'm sure somewhere we had a... Where's my... Okay, type. Tillis. One of them. One of my spies. There, they, there he is. Well, did he die? My agent was executed. <laughs> Spy killed during mission. He's been caught. Very well. Rhodes will recruit another along with an assassin. An active diplomat. You're waiting for the right time. Decius Mummius. As you, an active spy, you're in a good position. Some inactive fleet. So let's send this inactive fleet to scout towards Cyprus. So I think now's the time to march on Aquinsum. While also then recruiting reinforcements to garrison Suggestica, just in case they push from the west. Got to be ready for Thrace. Faction destroyed Pontus. Interesting. And who's not them out? Blockade port Nicomedia. Nicomedia, Nicomedia. Let's do it. Ha! <laughs> that city has a plague. Agent found Thrace. Faction destroyed Pontus. Senate mission failure. That was taking Sardis. It's not a problem. So to blockade the port will be rewarded with one minor exotic unit. Hmm. It remains to be seen what that'll be. So, the Greeks and the Juliarites <laughs> have announced another ceasefire. We've got another good son of Brutii being born. Okay, so... Just that slaves. Nope. Not interested in trading slaves specifically. Group my men together. Can I do any swap? No, sadly not. Okay. First of all, building. Athens. Very unhappy that I removed pretty much all of their garrison. Okay, so Athens, you might pick up a unit of Town Watch for yourself. Larissa could probably do with some, but I think that's more of a culture problem at Larissa. So up here at Suggestica. Let's build Pay Roads. And Larissa. I mean, we've got a lot of culture problems. We've got a lot of uh, happiness problems as well. Athens, let's build a... It's tempting to build a communal farming to knock down the culture penalty. Because right now I'm trying to... A, a temple will provide more happiness, but I also want to start to get rid of cultural uh, unhappiness unhappiness uh, linchpins. Codonia's building Thessalonica. Ooh, we can build large stone walls. First of all, let's build sewers. Sparta. Yeah, you build sewers as well. Let's start to upgrade our Public health. So you are on a mission over here because they've got gold, two units of copper, 
and purple dyes, which could be quite useful. Our army here... That will be led by everyone except the new Brutus. So they're unhappy about it. So we train the ships that are here and let's build some... Cancel the assassin and start to build some town watch. And also, we're already at low tax rate. We've got a big culture penalty. No, I, think, I think I can live with that. These men deploy, lay siege to Harlequinassus. New men get into port. Again, I might have to retrain you again, because I did leave you. Good. Up here at Suggestica, everyone sends Town Watch. They can leave. So let's keep dribbling in. Well, three Hastati, one Cavalry. Push back this German family member. It's just a general. I want to lay siege to their town. So Jessica is now ungarrisoned. Thessalonica has now got a bunch of onagers. Not necessarily needed for the uh, Thracians at the moment. So I might send two of them south to join this army. Okay, you don't... Okay, hold on. We need to... Beef up our army here. This force of Bilazora is going to wait to see what happens. Let's merge these Illyrian mercenaries. No, no, these are mercenary Peltasts and Illyrian mercenary. Okay, let's disband that mercenary unit. So this army may march up to, and hold position about here while this force takes Byzantium because then I can march them up and take Tillis, then this force can go up and hit Polarissum, which does have stone walls. Okay, we are going to blockade the port. There's a lot of trade in this area. Do I have... Let's deploy my... Deploy my spy to maintain visibility of what's ahead of us. Let's hit in turn. Our inactive diplomats and spies are okay, as is our inactive fleet. They are just holding position, waiting for enemies to come within range. Salona, you might send a, a starter unit north. Because you're fairly happy. Let's hit in turn. Yep, the Julii are on the grow. The Scipii are not. They've missed the memo. Lots of Greek movements. The merchants are coming in. They're not going to be able to stop us from taking the town, however. You... Then ignore him, because I'm not going to waste my time chasing that guy down. I mean, we've got, we're going to have enough troops to protect Jessica if he wants to try anything silly. I know we've got troops in Tarentum, but they've not. I'm waiting for a purpose with them. Prince pays in. Because realistically, you need. Okay, you're still recruiting Prince Pays. We need Triarii realistically, but there's not many places on the continent I can get them bar um, Thessalonica. Which I could probably. You keep sailing east. Can you guys abandon Kydonia? You can. You can sail these guys over to take position inside Rhodes as a garrison. Let's put this fleet nearby 
act as a bit of a mother hen. You can assault this city, but it's just two units of hoplites. I'm just going to auto resolve that. Victory! Occupy the city. And now we've got the mausoleum. So some of our most expensive buildings should build quicker, which is nice. Let's repair the walls, get a mass construction building going. Construction program going. Athens isn't going to recruit anyone. They can start to churn out some peasants to ship over to Halicarnassus because I would like them to grow quickly. So you're in a good position, you're in a good position. You are on your way to Equinsum. This turn we should blockade the port. Rioting in roads. They've chilled, they've chilled out. Let's repair the blacksmith. City expands by Lazora. Pro Consul's Palace. Build that first. Wonder captured. Good. Croton. Okay, Croton, you can build a. Build some stone walls. And tack on the highway. Salona. Can build sewers. So Rhodes is upset, but they're getting over it. Turn and turn. All of our dudes are still inactive, and that's okay. One of our family members has died. A bunch of our guys have got some extra growing the retinues. <laughs> the other Romans are now at war with the Greeks again. We've successfully got the Senate mission. I mean, it is a bit odd that the Scipii have got this bug that means they can't actually... They can't actually... Well, they won't attack Carthage for some reason. If the Julii are up to here, then they should probably at least have Carthage and be expanding down here. Agent found. A Thracian agent as standard. Kydonia has grown. So let's build a governor's palace. Senate mission successful. We've got Velite... Velite gladiators. Oh, excuse me. Velite gladiators. There they are. Two hit points, excellent morale, very good stamina, fast moving, can sap. Good to know. So now have some onager support. Keep moving the prince pays up. You can deposit the garrison at Rhodes and also make safe harbour. You guys sail up to Athens. Pick up the peasants, then you probably pick up more peasants next turn before you move. Thermon. Thermon's growing pretty well, so you don't have to worry about public baths to increase that bonus. Different army barracks, let's get more production cap capability on the mainland. Corinth, you can probably go for... Archery range, Thessalonica, you can probably get with four. Hippodrome, Sparta to the south, go for a armorer, that's everyone. There's that large Greek army coming back. Let's retrain a bunch of these troops in Rhodes. You probably need. You're recruiting two more principes, which is probably a good idea, and I'd likely want two more cavalry, and then that force will be complete to land and maybe hit Pergamum. You may want to sally out and occupy this bridge if Captain Ag Agapius comes back towards us. Ready to sail. <sighs> Egypt. Okay, let's keep sailing.
See Thessalonica is still growing. Let's force lay siege to this German territory. Let's hit and turn. Lock all of our dudes are still inactive. That's all okay. What's our mission? Take settlement Pergamon. Oh, good idea. Parthia and the Greeks are allies and the <laughs> cease fire with the Julii again. Seems like the game's code is fighting with itself there a bit. You know, the Julii don't want to fight them. But we're our, we're, we're, they're enemies with us. But we don't want to fight them. But they're enemies with us. See, at some point I really, really want... Well, I really, really do want the sweet Marian reforms to kick in. Hey, he's going to try and buy our merchant. The, these always work when the AI does them, usually. Yeah, there they go. See? I don't mind keep prodding them. Because I want the I want them to be the ones to uh, to declare on me. I want them to spawn it. I want them to start the war. Well, no, I, guess I do want some triarii in this force as well. So I'll likely lose two principes, I suppose. And nine turns to take Pergamum. Foreign scoundrels bought out one of our merchants. The scallywag. Bruta is the strongest faction, which is something we've all always known. Lots of internal reports. I don't really read, so I don't really. Don't really need to. Okay, so Jessica, let's get Temple of Juno to spare that pop growth. Apollonia, Apollonia, let's get. Uh, shipwrights, Salona gets a Temple of Juno, Athens, you are cheering up. Let's get a sewers. Actually, no, let's not get a sewers. Let's get roads, highways. And it roads, because they are, they are unhappy with us, so we need to start specifically hitting some of these things first. So let's get... New roads. Roads and roads. Oi, oi. They're coming for us. Lots of hoplites. It's too bad you guys can't do anything too useful. Let's deposit our... Let's get our... I mean, this is not a good position for them, because they can probably make it... <laughs> yeah, they can make it to Halicarnassus in one turn. Uh, let's instead deposit them this side of the river. And let's maybe... Take two Hastati, two Cavalry. Let's put in... Take out the weak Cav, put in the strong Cav, take out... All the Prince Pays are pretty good. Uh, probably put in both these cavalry, I suppose. But just keep them nearby. We can't. We're not within range to actually hit them. Hello, pirate fleet or rebel fleet? Remember you, rebel scam. Let's go take him out. We don't need to blockade this port anymore to the north. It would be handy for an economic, for the economic damage it could do, but we don't need it. Okay, so I probably want more. Once I've got the Triari, I probably want more cavalry in that army. Egypt. Well, Parthia is actually laying siege to Egypt. That's a Greek. Tarsus is Greek, is it? That's interesting. Sidon, Egyptian. Just keep exploring. We want to keep an eye on where our enemies are located. 
German diplomats. Surprised the Greeks haven't pushed on us. Thracis squaring up. Oh, they've attacked our peasant transports. Well, not anymore, they're not. <laughs> the sea is ours! Nah, just sail away from the Greeks. Let's Some more Egyptian territory. Let's sail along to Alexandria. Sir, Let's march them up to threaten them a bit. You guys deploy the peasants. Let's check if this works. 1700. Disband. Becomes. Oh, it counts a bit. Not a, it's not a full transport or transfer of troops. Okay, we don't want those principes. We want these cavalrymen. So let's take this fleet, get them back to Athens. Retrain everyone, including the commander. These guys can embark. Then while they're embarking, these guys can recruit another trireme. Thessalonica's got a good amount of triarii. Check our building browser. Everyone's building. Not everyone's recruiting, but chiefly because they don't need to. And then we've got this fight up here. Which, because we've not had a fight the entire episode, I am going to fight it. Because even I'm getting a bit itchy-fingered at the minute. Then once we take the German territory, we will then go ahead and uh, engage diplomacy to see if we can make peace. Because we know we know we don't have we have no need for war. Not with the German people. We are facing the evil and cunning Germans. Dangerous, Dangerous foes. To be yeah. sure. Beard, bearded, bearded fiends in the shape of them. In the shape of men and show no mercy in victory. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. Our numbers are vastly superior. It may not seem fair, but we are not here to be fair, only to win. God damn right. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Now, you know my reputation and skills, and I tell you, a wall has yet to be made that can keep my army out. So it is just a bunch of warband in there. Nothing to be, oh, nothing to be particularly concerned about. So it's just group some troops behind each ram just to charge in we've got one unit of archers as usual push our valetes and our archers up quickly our cavalry can stay where it is our infantry will follow up You should be walking, not running. Good. My Velites can run. Might put my principes on the flanks. So these are these are war bands. So they do they can form phalanx. So we do want to swarm and engulf them. And as he says, my men, I'm not here to be fair. I don't know what I would do as the Germans here. Maybe defend this bottleneck? But then I'd probably then, if they were doing that, then I would just walk around and surround them and engulf them anyway. Run my Velites out, my archers are getting some good mileage. 
against the spear warband. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter away through. Our soldiers Enough my Velites can make now some. Now they must batter away through. Can't even see their their rangery. Okay, there they are. Okay, now they now they're getting in though. Fire! Yeah, these are just pretty low quality um, phalanx ripoffs, really. They're not the sort of thing you look at and go, oh no, not the Spear Warband. They're like phalanx, except they're even. they, they break even faster when attacking from the flank. So look, I'm not giving them any orders, but they're all just swapping their formation around. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Damn right they should. Surround and attack the spear warband here while it's isolated. I like, you know, I want to push these guys in. So you men. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Ah, oh, they've already broken. Okay, in which case then these men form up a line. My prince pays these prince pays can advance around the flank. You guys form up like so, you guys push up, you guys have fire well on. It's not the most Efficient thing to do to let them retreat to the central square, but to be honest, I don't mind taking them, taking them out block by block. Um, okay, let's. You guys might actually run. So these men are going to be fire well on in case these guys march around towards us. These principes run to get up into that formation position. No, I'll just stay where they are. I mean, if they're not gonna okay, charge our Hastati, these Hastati into them, bring one cavalry unit here to hit them in the flank. They've broken phalanx. They get the shaken from the attack in the flank. Loads of men. We should be much unhappier than that. They were shaking at 200. Now they're down to 130. Yeah, now they're wavering. Break them. Break them all. Chase him down. Okay, they've been killed. Now everyone else, march up. Could get our archers. 
over here, I suppose. You guys run. Run our Ecotes around to go fight Barbarian Warlord. So my men have hit that phalanx. You guys charge the phalanx. You guys charge that phalanx. These Ecotes come around to support. The first fight. These men, like, yeah, the uh, the phalanx is being hit in both flanks. The enemy there goes the enemy general. Press forward, so the he has been is knocked from his horse. Everyone else charged that warband, except for the equitants. Some of our cavalry are upset, but there we go. Good stuff. So the hope is that with this victory we can uh, we can demand a peace from the Germans. And let us see if they accept. Like I said, I don't want to expand any more in this direction. I just want them to stop. I want to occupy the city, demolish the shrine, probably demolish the muster field as well. They're about to grow so I'm not overly concerned about um, I'm not overly concerned about this stuff because it'll all be upgraded soon. So then where's my diplomat? I will be quick. Our patience is limited. On request. Let's see how much money I can get. Oh <laughs> wow, okay, that's still very generous. I wonder if I can request. Which I don't remember which town is which, and this one's not. This map is pretty darn bad. I'm pretty sure it's Lovavon. <laughs> okay. Very well. So we've managed to we've managed to gain another territory. In which case then this detachment of men march up to the forward position. Love of them. Oh, it actually already has troops in it. I suppose they did they all become ours? Okay, so where's your special shrine? Sacred Grove of Flare. Not sacred enough. The Womp. So they're a bit unhappy from a shrine perspective. My spy is here, so let's move my spy up. Let's move my general up to here. Yeah, I thought there was a guy. Build a tower just to, ma to maintain that the coverage over this part of the map. And let us do trade rights. Map info. Map info. A most generous proposal. Good. So now we have cemented our friendship with trade. Now this territory is trading with Mont Montecniacum and Aquinsum. Good. That's gone pretty well. Ceasefire in effect. Agent found in by Thrace. Path blocked by one of our admirals. Oh, that was the Greek fleet that showed up, wasn't it? If you guys want to try it, let's send a 
send our assassin to Pergamon. The faction leader's there. Let's see if we can knock off the faction leader. You're on march towards Admiral Lentus, then you're deploying at Pergamum. Ah, you're actually okay to you're actually okay to sit here. To prevent the passage of ships. Lots of good stuff here. Everyone's building, which is great. In turn, all of our idle stuff can remain idle. Yeah, the Julie High are doing very well. Skippy Eye are pushing up, but it does look like the bug is going to stop them from being super important. There's a Germanic army. You guys better chase down this general. Just to make sure he does not do any more sneaky things. I think this guy's on his way out, so let's get my general back. Actually, let's go to here. Build tower to get more visibility over to the east, and then get it back into Aquinsome. Could do with a tower more in here, I think. So let's send you out. And I've not got visibility. Oh, I should have been there. Would have been a good place for it. I'll accept a small gap in coverage. A worthy life ends. Alexander of Corinth. Uh, okay, that means Corinth, you require a new merchant. A new merchant acquired. Oh, a, a merchant from Lovavum. Awaiting your command. Amber. Yes, please. How much am you? 129 per turn from that, securing the amber supplies. Nice. So they are a concern. That German stack. Oh, the Greeks are marching around. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure we have to meet them in battle. So first of all, let's meet, get these guys over onto this fleet, land them up at Pergamum, then take my faction air, and that's a lot of hoplites. In theory, this should be okay, um, but it's me. Uh, this is me we're talking about here, um, so we need to well, it's an entire army of hoplites. If I use my cavalry well enough, we should be able to uh, successfully take them out. Start deployment. So let's create our first our main battle line with our principes. Let's put our archers behind the line. They can't engage us. They have no archers of their own. Leather Taze behind the line. Skirmish mode off. A lot of cavalry. Four. Another one unit if I started to put on the edge of this. a lot of hoplites. They do have slingers. Chiefly focus on the cavalry fight. And they know it as well. They're pushing up hard. The slingers are pushing up, but our archers should probably be good enough to deal with them.
At the very least, if I can keep enough... If I can keep enough... Units distracted, they won't get the... The mass they need. Good, those guys are broken. I do see them. Okay, you guys, the general, get out of the way. I can only do. I can only manage so many units. It's a failing among many, for sure. But I do know they are. Okay, they might be attempting to withdraw. Well, they've definitely fallen back. Focusing on the cavalry battle because the infantry battle, I think, will probably do okay. They're broken. You guys stay out of the way. No, you guys hit that unit of armored hoplites. Cavalry on the move. You can no, don't keep chasing them down. New men hit those armored hoplites. Good, they're broken. General hit into the back of those hoplites. Run my general away. Look at those men broke. Guys, hit that hoplite unit. You guys run. You guys smash into the slingers. You guys push around either side of that position. You guys run in and hit that phalanx unit. The enemy general flees. Enemy general is fleeing. These armoured hoplites are all so upset. Whoa, okay, no. General, go away, because that's the front of their formation. These equites charge into the rear of these hoplites. Then. Okay, they're withdrawing. Okay, good. The general's been... The enemy general is has been run down. So let's stop our archers from f 
firing because we're losing a lot of cavalrymen to one of these fights. It's that fight down there. Lots of these equites just keep charging down. Now these guys are there. They're withdrawing. Not routing. They're withdrawing. Keep chasing down these hoplites. Even though it's going to cost us cavalry. So these armoured hoplites, they're not slouches, even when you charge them in the rear. Keep charging them down, though. I'm going to get my archers to actually keep engaging those armoured hoplites and not, that's not I'm not going to go for them until I've got more of my cavalry involved because it looks like I'll probably need okay no my archers we get back in formation my general I definitely do not want to risk Well, let's go ahead and see the armored hoplites. They are, they're very good units. They're very strong units. The enemy yeah, let's continue. They are not Let us destroy these Greeks. Did you guys notice how much I was paying attention with all my micro? I just couldn't talk. <laughs> the there we go. The enemy are destroyed. Your victory is oh. complete. Delicious. Heroic victory. We killed... Oh, God, look at that. They got 2,003 men... 2,300 men deployed into the fight. They have 17 left. Oh, that is... That is glorious. So we need to start pumping out troops from Greece and Rhodes to reinforce our army. And to be honest, that's blown the road to Sardis wide open. He even got a battle marker for it. I mean, it's Victor. Push on to Sardis. It's got a spy up on top of this hill. Maybe this hill. Okay, so we have no clear enemies coming from the east. I might send my spies, my um, assassins over here, because really that garrison, this this city will, will fall <laughs> to our army. Oh, like a Nursus, you've got a unit of cavalry. You may need to march up. We do have some Hastati, but not very much. The main goal will be to start to send... Probably some of these Principes. Recruit more, recruit more Principes to keep the... Men at the front fully replenished. But I think that's probably a pretty good time to end the episode. Just check my building queue. Aha, it's always good to check your building queue just to make sure that uh, you don't get any surprises. So how's our pop growth going? Squalor's, Squalor's still pretty big, so let's go for a aqueduct. Although, doesn't this happiness law... Okay, yeah, let's get an aqueduct. Suggestica... Okay, now you can go for a mine. Salona. Go for communal farming. And everyone else is building. Rhodes is upset, which is understandable. So that's why we are building Town Watch to help keep them up to date. Um, but we did smash the Greeks in that fight. And so now, yeah, the road to Sardis is open. Pergamum is going to be besieged, and I think that's an excellent time from the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Brutii. Cheers, everyone.